Hello guys and girls, voices from the dark here, welcome back to the savior of Skyrim with Mimir many lives, Barbus the dog who's once more feeling fine, aren't you Barbus? You ready? You ready for today's episode? We're gonna build our home Barbus, give me a wolf. Give th thank you. Mercurio, you're here too. We're going back to Ilanalta's deluge. We were here in the last one. Admiring the decor, picking up a broken version of Azura Star. By Azura, by Azura. To be continued in the future. For now, though, the reason I'm delving back in here is because I did walk by. I'm not going to comment on that. I did walk by a skill book, and I w Man, we left a mess in here. I do want to get it, so let's go! Alright, where's the book? There it is. A tragedy in black, indeed. Put it on the table. <laughs> perfect, perfect mood lighting, I feel. You know, sit down with your skulls and your swirling green orbs and your candles. Alright, what is it? You, what do you need? need to sit on down. Start. Okay, got it. That's your first objective. Come on. Yes, and now. Okay. You got it. Oh, but you were supposed to Okay, well my the whole aesthetic was that you were gonna sit and read, but anything else? Thanks for the book. With that, we are going out. And we are out. Excellent. So now let us talk about today's journey, because I have some rather lofty ambitions today. Oh, there's a mud crab over there. Oh, the orchestra is playing. This will be a battle for the ages. Dog versus mud... Oh! And it's over. A vicious predator, Barbus. That's what you are. Good boy. Oh, good boy. Today is a very special day. It is the 11th of November as I am playing this, meaning it's Skyrim Day. It came out 11 years ago today, even though you might be watching this on the 12th, since that is the Saturday where I intend to post it, which means, yes, Barbus, I do need to stay up this night editing the video to have it done in time, but that's okay. We're going to look out at the horizon. I want you to look upon Mimir. He has a very iconic piece of equipment on him. What if I told you that I, too, would like to embrace my inner Dovahkiin and equip the most comfortable of all iron helmets. Oh, it's so small. I'm never going to get this off. Yeah! 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 Skyrim day, everybody. Yeah! Happy Skyrim. Okay. Oh, it's actually really painful. I right, get it off. Oh no, it's like the mask episode of Goosebumps. Ah, I will become Dovahkiin. Okay. We're all good. Enough shenanigans, everybody. What's the objective today? Other than making me look like a fool. Which is basically every day. First, I'm gonna swim over to, swim over to the Lady Stone. Say hello to Frost. We did leave our horse behind there in the previous episode. Other than that, we're going to Lakeview Manor. I will not end this episode until we have built three new wings of our house and we can stand on our deck and look out over the lake, having built a children's bedroom for us to sleep in. And then we put the kids in the stables. Everything's going to be good, but it does require some work. There are some slaughterfish in the water. Frost is thinking about fighting them. I wouldn't recommend it, buddy. Hey, Frost, Fro hey, hey, buddy. But, oh, flowers. So flat. So beautiful. First and foremost, we're gonna need a pickaxe. Why do we need a pickaxe? Well, we're going to need to create rooms of our house and chests for our children. To make a chest and a door, you need locks. To make locks, you need corundum ingots. To make corundum ingots, you need corundum ore. To get corundum ore, you need a pickaxe. To get a pickaxe, we have to go home. To go home... Well, we have to ride along, but there's already, like, fire in the woods over here? Come on. Who's... You gotta prevent forest fires, guys. Have you... Oh, there's a flame atronach. 
Oh, versus a... Don't focus on me! Hey, 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 hey. I'm on the side of the Flame Atronach here. You can't even control your own summon? Yeah. Take that! Just punch you! Alright. This... This is... I can't see. There's... I'm fighting inside of a Christmas tree. It's November. Too early. Yeah! There we go. We got Barbas with us. Alright, how about you... I mean, you can slash me. This is great restoration practice. I, I, I mean, I kind of appreciate it. I'll just let Barbas bite at you for a while. Come on. Come on, what you gonna do? What you gonna do? You got damage magic. I got healing magic. See who wins. Ugh. But even though it's gonna be a house building episode, it does not mean it's gonna be a slow one. I have a feeling there's a lot of... Uh, is, are we standing in, like, a special way? I just feel like our pose now is a little different than usual. Am I just imagining things, or is this how you always look? Huh. Oh, it was different! We were zoomed in more! Oh, that was a, that was a really cool effect. Alright, which flame atronach is not mine? Oh, I have no idea. That's mine, okay. Uh, oh, mine is also gone now. Alright, let's summon a flame atronach to fight a flame atronach. It's brilliant. Alright, so flaming AoE here, but that's okay. Because it's going down, and we're going to back away because Flame Atronox explodes. See? I learned things. <sighs> Some Fire Salts for Balamund. Very nice. I think we actually do have most of his Fire Salts, but they're in a chest. Frost is over in the woods. You know, at least Frost has a sense of self-preservation. Speaking of sense of self-preservation... That is something I want to instill in my children. Now, we're all worried, I know. I've been reading your letters, I've been sending them, saying, hey, how on earth is Mimir going to be a father? Now, I hear you. He has a few issues, but I believe that Lakeview Manor... Is that a ghost wolf? What? This is why Lakeview Manor is the coolest, okay? Our children are gonna be out exploring, they're just gonna wander like five... five freaking steps from the house, and they're gonna be assaulted by 14 wolves, one of them being spectral. They're gonna have so many tales to tell, if they survive, but it's just gonna be such a good practice in... just managing to live in Skyrim. <sighs> And if they don't kill their first wolf by the time they're six and then throw it through the ground into the abyss below, what am I doing as a parent? Life in Skyrim is harsh. It is short, it is unforgiving. Giving... Oh, Frost, please no. Frost, why are you doing this? There's a ghost wolf down there. Mistfire, bless you and me. Oh, there's so many ghost wolves! How did this happen? There's so many! Oh, okay. Oh, I hit... I, of course I hit Barbus. Wolf Guardian Spirit! We were told to kill you! That's why it's a ghost wolf! Nice! Defeat the Guardian Wolf. You guys remember that quest? Yeah. Me neither. We got 50 quests going. Oh, good job, Frost. Also, we got some Wolf Pelt, which is excellent, because I can get some leather from that, and we're gonna need some leathery strips eventually. All in a day's work. So, as I was saying, our children are really going to get the full Skyrim experience, I feel. I, I don't want them to feel cheated out of this... Hmm. Ah! Treasure hunts! It's gonna be so much fun. I mean, I, I know that right down the road we have, like, a necromantic altar and there's always some guy there. But maybe they can, they can talk to him. Uh, he can teach them a few spells. You know, raise dead. And then whenever they have a pet and it dies, they can just kind of bring it back. And whenever they walk down the road to Falkreath, I mean, there's always going to be those two bandits on the bridge dropping a huge boulder. It's just going to give them stamina, I feel, having to run away from a boulder. Let me park Frost in here. I know I already... I can't actually... There we go. I already have an exact copy called Mimir Many Lives Horse. But, you know. Don't fight you two. I need to see Raya. She was... Hello, cow. Hello, chicken. Cow and chicken, if you will. Hello, Barbus. That is indeed your butts. Why was Raya not here to protect me? To welcome me home? I'm the master of the house. Okay. Started to get some decorations up here. Still pretty bare, though. 
But I would like to make some food immediately because I know I'm gonna forget. Four vegetable soups. That's good because something tells me we ain't done fighting for today. <sighs> Is Raya just taking it easy? She can hear me screaming from the outside. She's like, I'm not getting paid enough for this. Is a mannequin up here? Oh, there you are. Okay. What do you need, my Thane? Honor to you, my Thane. I'd like you to make some improvements to the house. I think we need a new chicken. Certainly. What did you have in mind? I need a, a bard. It would be pleasant to have some music in the house. Oh, no. I'll make inquiries oh, about no. retaining the services of a bard. Oh, no. What have I done? Have I just hired someone to constantly stand around my house singing Ragnar the Red? Certainly. What did you have in mind? All right. Well, seal this fate. Chicken. I'll see to it at once. Excellent. Now, I'd like you to... Uh, I like to buy furnishings for the house. Of course. What Main room? hall. Very good. I'll make all the arrangements. All right. Of course. And that's the only what one that we can like? buy for now. Very good, sir. Okay. I'd like you to make some improvements. Certainly. Oh, we lost another chicken. I'll see to it at once. There we go. Okay. Mm -hmm. So two chickens died, but that's okay. I'd rather they go after the chicken than the children. You know? So I just got to make sure I always have enough chicken so that they don't... Yeah. Barbus... You're a very good boy. Mercurio is not so much. I don't really know where he is. Horses are in the stables. Chickens are happy. There's a cow here too, I suppose. And I'm gonna grab this pickaxe right here. Excellent. That's a torch. Oh! <gasps> my leek! It's grown. Nice. We also have some cabbage. We essentially have everything besides tomato to make ourselves some baller. I mean, seriously baller. Vegetable soup. I hear the kids are going crazy for them. Fertile soil. There's already something growing. Yes, so there are potatoes here. So these are going to regrow. I know, Barvis. It's exciting. We do have a smelter here. So we need to take all of our corundum ingots here. I mean, we already have some. Let's start with what we have. We don't... Oh, we don't have any corundum ore. Right. We... I think we have one corundum ore in our chest. Okay, we need to go mine some corundum ore. Step one. So many steps. I can't jump ahead to, like, step 10. Pickaxe at the ready. Let's go hunt some corundum. I think... Do I want to... I think I want to bring Frost with me. Or do I want to just bring my other horse? I feel like this horse is more disposable. Like, I don't want to try to keep Frost alive. This is just an unnamed horse. You know. Sorry. Not sorry. We need corundum ore. There are some corundum ores around the area. I know there's some over here. There's three veins here. A couple actually just around our house. So we might start there. I believe if we just head up a little bit. Now, it's... I've been constantly walking past corundum ores because, you know, mining. But now it's, it's actually something we're going to need to do. There it is. So we're going to need... 10 ingots to make everything we need. It takes two ore for one ingot. Oh, don't hit the horse. Am I hitting? Okay, there we go. Which means I need 20 ore. Each vein drops three. So you do the math. That's just kind of the parameters we are looking at. I believe if we head over here, there's a place called North Shriekwind Bastion. And I think there's another one here. I've been looking at a corundum ore map. And I think I think I got them mapped out in my head. So we're going to make sure that we have at least 20 ore. So that we can just build everything. Get some iron fittings, some hinges, some locks. Doors in general are the hardest thing to build for me. It's going to seem like. Now, North Shriekwind Bastion. Ooh, spooky. I don't think we're going to go there, though. We have other things to do. We're going to make our own adventure. And after this adventure, our sights, I know I've been saying it a lot, are set on Whiterun. I'm really down, because once we have our house done, like, there's... That's really going to be the next thing. We're going to be able to start the Companions, uh, meet Nassim, which I don't know if it's, if it's a good thing, but most importantly, report to Jarl Balgriff about this darn dragon thing that kind of was urgent, but, you know, other things are urgent, too, in my world. So, it's gonna be good to get that started. I do feel like the world could use a little bit of increase in difficulty, which I'm going to regret saying these words, so feel free to clip this moment. 
But having some dragon support would certainly add a bit of that deadliness back in, because I'm already starting to feel like, you know, okay. I, I, I got the basics, I got the gist, you know? And it's it's not even my competence, it's just kind of the fact that I have friends now, and that, that helps a lot. I think there are some iron ores that grow near... grow? Um, right here near the sanctuary. But iron ore is not really that important. We're gonna need like at least 30 ingots, but they're easy to buy, and I think we have some lying around, so that should not really be our main focus. Instead, right now, we are going to head to Falkreath, and it's a foggy day. It seems when we used the carriage to go to Falkreath, we kind of cheated a bit and we got good weather, but now we're back to the, the dreary gray. We have stashed away quite a few things here at the Dead Man's Drink, which is why I want to go there immediately. But first, I'm gonna meet Nari, and she's gonna say, Shores Bones, a handsome man in Falkria. You must be one of those wizards no. from the college in Winterhold. No, that's not what you say. No, no, I'm not a, I'm not a wizard. You can't... Shores Bones, a <sighs> handsome man in Falkria. All is good. Oh. <laughs> hey, Mimir Many Lives Horse. What should we name him? Actually, don't say. He's probably not going to live till the end of the episode. But, if he does, what do we name him? Alright. Oh. Don't mind me. Hey, aren't... That's the guy we saved. Okay. So, we have a couple of things just lying around here. And if you're curious about the contents, I'm just going to scroll through here for your viewing pleasure. Take all of those. There we go. How are you, Valder? Hello again, friend. I'll never forget what you did for me. Ah, yes, it was a great deed. I saved you from outside of a cave because you were hurt. Yes, of course, I remember you like it was yesterday. All right, Barbus, you need to move yourself. Right now, we are carrying a lot of stuff that needs to be placed away and sorted in our house because we do have the hoarder goal, which, of course, is that we need to collect one of every collectible item in Skyrim. And we store them away at our home in a special chest, which will eventually become several chests once we build some storage, which might be the second wing we build. Ooh. But first, we're going to go to Solaf. Why do we want to go well, to the man, Beardless Wonder? Brother, I've well... Oh, a bit of this, Firstly, a bit of that. he sells some good stuff. I would like to buy some glass as material for the house and some goat horns. I think I'm just going to be stocking up on those as we go, per your recommendation. And I'm also going to be buying some straw as well, because I'm going to be making some beds, etc. And I think I'm just going to pick up a couple of soul gems as well. And you might be saying, oh, you're spending a lot of money. Don't worry, we're going to be making money, because we have stuff to sell. I'm essentially going to go through my inventory, sell everything that I don't need to store away, and that I want to, and that I can sell. But I'm not going to sell stuff like Amethyst. It doesn't feel right to sell a gem when I'm not good at speech and mercantile. However, I do have stuff like Apprentice Robes of Conjuration. Boom, 400 gold right there. I have, like, duplicates of stuff. I have lots of jewelry, some of which I can place it. Like, these novice robes right there. Destruction. Boom. They're gone. So, we're gonna be making a bit of money. Leveling up eventually. And then whenever he runs out of money, I'm going to just wait 48 hours and then sell again. I'm gonna be doing this off camera since it's gonna take a little bit. I know I can punch him and then quick load to, like, instantly reset his gold, but... I am going to try to refrain from doing that during this playthrough for arbitrary reasons and instead go with the 48 hour wait period. So, I will see you once we have uh, gotten ourselves a bit more gold. Okay, look at our money amount, almost 16,000. And not just that, but we've also managed to acquire some different uh, goods like some more soul gems with some filled souls and just some general materials and things. So, All right, then. I'm feeling fairly good. Fancy robes. You a wizard or something? I was expecting Mercurio behind me, but I guess Boland's with us now. You find my brother Solof and I. Oh no. The only true Nords in Falkreath. Okay, he's problematic. I can't have him on my channel. <laughs> okay, so we are still over. Man, that was a zoomy guard, and he's guarding the corner over there, doing a very thorough job. We're all very proud of you, Mr. Guard. 
It's 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 a, it's a hard job. What can I say? Okay, well, <laughs> I don't really like this. The guards today are so. So, you can cast a few spells. Oh. Am I supposed to be impressed? Okay, well, let's get out of here. There's a bad vibe in Falkreath right now, so let's take our dagger. Jump on the horse and let's ride out of town. Can I equip stuff while I'm on a horse? All right, let's give them a show. Let's give them all a show. So, we have the items with us. We intend to store them away. We've sold off some stuff, and I'm just feeling ready to hit the road. We did get quite a bit of corundum, which is very good. We currently have 10 corundum ore. Excellent. So, we only need 10 more ore, which means we need 4 more veins. And I know of the location of four veins, so that that, that is actually going to work out. So, I'm really lucky that Solaf had some in stock. Now, back at Lakeview, we are going to be constructing, firstly, the bedroom, so that we can adopt. Then we're going to be constructing, oh, the infamous bandits. I think I'm just going to ignore them. We're going to be constructing the storage room. Now, oh boy, run! Those are the rocks I was talking about. It'll be great exercise. And, I mean, the arrows, too. They're just gonna... Oh, go and the bears, you know. Oh, can't forget about the bears. Every child's upbringing needs a good bear encounter to just scare the bejesus out of them. Now, this is Pine Watch. Very nice. I'm still being chased by, by a giant lumbering. Yep, he's right behind me. And mud crabs. They can play with the mud crabs, though. That's always fun for the kids. Now... We're back home. No more wolves, please. I am bringing trouble to my farm. Frost wants to come help out. No, Frost, you stay in there. You stay- Frost? Don't you- I paid a lot of money to- I, I guess I didn't pay money. I just kind of stole you, but- oh, Come on, come on! Oh, you did so well, Frost. We're all so proud of you. Get a gun attached to Frost. That's a bad sign. Alright, so, I know I'm zooming around here in my underwear, but I do have some iron ore right outside my door. Unintentional rhymes are the best. Alright, that's <laughs> just... Raya comes out, looks at me in my underwear with my helmet on, because that's just kind of the guy I am. Helmet stays on, if you know what I mean. And my chickens are running around. The eagle! The eagles are coming! I guess I do technically need to kill an eagle. I think that is actually... Does it count as a creature? I don't know. Can I? Okay. Target practice. Another great way, a reason to bring up our kids here. Oh, that's fine. That's fine. I just... Just practice. Okay. Here we go. Here we go. Oh, okay. <gasps> oh, boy! And it landed on the... Oh, there it is. You doubted me. You... D t tell me. Tell me you doubted me. I know you did. All right, back. Oh, look at that. Raya's impressed. There's the hawk, hawk beak, and some hawk feathers. Excellent. Raya, I need to use this tanning rack. Thank you. I do have some different wolf pelts here, and I can make a lot of leather. Leather? Yes, sure. We'll, we'll go with that. Keep that in. Nice wolf pelts. Cow hides. Okay, I'm not going to sell any of those or do anything with the, the bear pelts. Okay, there we go. Then I'm gonna make quite a few leather strips, just like that. Okay, so now we got those. I'm still a little heavy though, so we need to do something about that. Uh, have we gotten a bard yet? Do I need to build something for the bard? Who can release? Has it grown already? Well, I guess I was in town for two weeks <laughs> staring at Solaf. <laughs> oh, this is excellent. Now, t the tomatoes. I need to, like, I don't... I need to find a way to get tomatoes. Like, illegal trades, maybe? Hmm. I should have checked Sola for tomatoes. I kind of went straight to his missile. Oh, the fact that this hitbox is so small is infuriating. There we go. Potatoes, potatoes. Leak. 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 Leaks aren't that interesting anymore. I think I'm becoming more of a tomato guy now. Barbus. Very good. Just gotta scare him a little. Okay, let us make some corundum. Bum, 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 bum. Nice, we now have five ingots. And we are going to need 
five more. Okay. So, now that we are here, Raya's working hard. I think what I want to do is that I want to stop by the home. I have a lot of stuff on me. I want to place it away in the chest. And once I do, we can update the item goal. And we're just going to get a lot of progress. Smash past 20%. I'm really looking forward to it. So, right here is the chest so far. Just giving you a little bit of a look. Also because it's nice to have for future reference. There we go. But I also have a lot of stuff on me. So I'm going to be stashing some of that away. I won't bore you with the process of me stashing away and double checking every item. But here we go. Stashing montage! Oh, oh no, here comes the statistics! How many things are we going to stash away? Let's see! Wow. Okay, that was some nice progress, I hope. So, here is the updated list of items. Just showing it off here. Now, what I really want to do once we build the storage component of the house is to store these away in different chests based on the kind of item, which is going to make keeping track and just an overview a lot easier. But for now, it's just the messy chests. That's okay. Nice. Well then, Barbus. I am still too heavy. Which means, yeah, I must go out. Look for somewhere to relieve myself of my burdens. So what I'm going to do is that I'm going to go to the chest over here, which has sort of become the unofficial uh, junk chest, where I put everything else that I don't currently want with me, but I've already collected one of, so... All right, let me store away some stuff here and then we can get going. Okay, equipped some stuff on us, stashed away some things and we can once more actually move about. Which is wonderful, isn't it, Barbus? It doesn't look like Mercurio is caught up at the moment, but that's okay. Let's get our pickaxe in hand and let's go hunting some corundum. Ooh, iron's back. We're gonna need some of that too. And a sapphire, what do you know? Hard work, pays off. Mistfire bless me. Hello, Frost. Looks like you're eager to be taken for a ride, so... That's what we're gonna do. Uh, there's still probably a bear in the area, so that's not great. I believe if we travel a little southwards... Do you remember that little river crossing down here? I believe there's a corundum vein there. And then... Going towards the Guardian Stones, there are also three more. So those four should yield us the ten that we require. Once we have that, I'll be feeling pretty good. And they're back. I'm just... Okay, well... Uh, where's Mercurio? Where's Barbus? Where's anybody? Oh, they're attacking the... They're fighting each other. That's good. <gasps> Barbus is coming because he's such a good boy. All right. Frost... I gotta go be a man. Oh boy! Oh no! Oh, he's gonna kill my horse! Do I do Staff of Fireballs? Maybe now is not the time for Staff of Fireballs. Okay. Let's, uh, charge up right here. And do we have some veggie soup in us? We do now. Mr. Arbos, me! And curse you! Oh, you're just a bandit. Oh, you... <laughs> he's fine. He's nothing. He just talks a big game. Alright, and I think... Well, this is quite the battle, isn't it? Stop hitting my dog with a warhammer. Nice. Those were some beautiful pirouettes. Did not leave me dizzy in the slightest, I gotta say. Alright, let's just make sure he's not mad at us. Who do I attack? Maybe I just dish out the damage. Maybe I just spread the love, you know? Let's get our, uh, let's get our friend up in here. Let's flamey help out a little. Alright, I'm staying in third person just because it's a little disorienting in first sometimes. Face down in the river. Where you belong. Ah! Smack that bear on the rump. 
that is their critical hit zone, you know. And fire explosion, and there we go. I don't really need more bear pelts now, and they're starting to weigh me down, but flawless garnet. I will take, and I will trim his nails. Ah, Mr. Outlaw. Just tell me where the corundum is, and no one gets hurt. Not a talker, eh? Alright, let's go find it. Yep, she's still dead. Now, if I was Corundum Ore, I would position myself right over here. That's what I would do. Alright, let's get that pickaxe. Nice. Alright, stand away, Barbas. There we go. Give me some Corundum. Nice. That should put us at a total of... Corundum or three. Yes. And we're gonna need ten. So it all adds up in the end. Alright, Frost, you're still alive. It's always wonderful. There's a little egg there. We will leave that be. Now, the three Corundum ingots, I believe, are hidden up in like a little mountain nook. Coming up here. So I want to see if I can get my... My grubby little paws on them. Because once we have them, I think we're going to go back to Lakeview. Smelt it all down. Make sure we have the prerequisites. Because we're going to need to forge a lot of hinges and nails. Etc. And a lot of iron is going to go there. Would we want more iron? We have 14 iron ore. Zero ingots. Which is... Oh! Shot straight in the heart. In the face. Man, I got I got a song on my brain, I guess, if that's where Okay. Let's uh let's 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 not deal with that right now. Uh let's instead just stroll around. This is just another fun little activity for the kids, you know. Dodge the arrows. That's really gonna, you know, get them get them up and moving. If I feel like they've been stationary for too long, then <laughs> Papa's gonna grab a bow and you know it's time to run. Stable home. Oh, I see them up in the far. Are you okay? It's like right in your snout, Frost. I am sorry about that arrow. All right, walk it off. Trot it off. Canter it off. Oh, jackpot, motherload. Let's go. Swing, 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 swing. Ah, the form on you. Ooh, I look forward to getting some... That's another fun thing about releasing the dragons, is that we're gonna get shouts. Because shouts is such a, a fun way to mix up the combat a little, once you start getting a couple of them. Like, they just add some extra... A little juice, a little spice to the whole thing. 12 Corundamore, as expected. Now, Frost, we must return home once more. You know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna ride this other path here. Mistfire blessed me. I'm gonna ride down the mountain. I think. I, there is no smelter in Riverwoods, so right here's the. It's fine. We're good. Frost won't die. Uh, I remember. Shrine of Talos. Bad for business. That is. All right. Oh, look at that. Iron. I do need iron. Don't go anywhere, Frost. I know there's combat nearby, but. Yeah. Stay there. Papa's got a mine. Mine his own business. Do you think they make pickaxes for children? Because I'm just saying. Considering the amount of corundum nearby, we could just send them on some trips over, you know? Not a bad passive income. Oh, I have so many ideas. We just gotta figure out which... Mr. Bless Me. Okay. I'm seeing what you're putting down, Skyrim. Um, how is this happening? Actually, how is this happening? There's no giant camp nearby, right? Uh, maybe he's just my new neighbor. Okay. Neighbor? Uh, no, no, neighbor, neighbor, listen, 
You come for some sugar? That's fine. I only got moon sugar. Hopefully that will do. I... Have you come for the cow? No. No, no. My cow. <gasps> no! Not the cow! Ugh. Oh, snap! Oh, boy. Okay, okay. We running now. We running now. Carriage driver, take me places. <laughs> take me anywhere but here. Oh, wonderful. I can use him as a shield. All right, Gunyar. You're about to see an epic battle. Mistfire, bless me. Oh, fun for the whole family. Okay, how do I actually beat a giant? We have beaten a giant before. Uh, fireballs. Go! Go! Yeah, fireballs! Alright, that was pretty fun. Still. It probably involves getting up close, summoning Flamey, and making sure we are not the center of attention. Summoning that, getting a vegetable soup, Miss Fire Bless Me. Ah! Alright, and then we just, uh, then we just bash, I think. Yeah. That's the strat. That's the strat right there. You come around my home. Messing with my crops. I see you going for the leeks. Those are probably your next target after the cow, huh? Oh, there we go. Both me and Raya just giving him hell right- Oh, no, 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 no. I've just started building this house. The foundation's not that great, okay? So don't go stomping around here. <sighs> Quiet house building episode. Yeah. You know, sort item episodes. Well, things rarely go the way we plan, huh? Alright, take them down! Excellent work, Raya. Ah, <sighs> emeralds, some gold, and he's eating an imperial. Ah, yes! My dear Raya. Oh, there you are, Barbas. Once the danger is over is when you show your face. Alright. To the smelter. Let's pretend that didn't happen. Nice. That should also give us plenty of iron ingots for a total of... 17 is a little on the not many sides. Okay, let's 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 go to Riverwood. Where we can also to go? Oh. <laughs> Didn't even need to approach him. He's learning. Take me to Riverwood, good sir. Climb and back and we'll be off. Yes, I could run there, but I'm lazy today. Oh, I've had I I, I don't want to Hope it lasts. Yeah, hopefully fewer giants. That'd be something. Nerves of steel on this guy though. I must be paying him well. He did not budge. No, Alvor! The day's not over! Not until I say so! Whatever you need. <sighs> Buy Ismir if it's Buy Ismir. Strong. Can't you can keep your shop open for a No, just go. Just, uh, go go on. Go go on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go on. It's fine. Yep, take a take a early evening. It's like 8 p.m. Are you are you the one watching me? Who's watching me? Barbus? Dogs don't report crimes. We all know this, but Come here. Barbus, come here. Yes, don't look at what daddy's doing. Daddy's doing bad things. Oh my gosh. Wait a minute. There's a... Barbus, there's another dog. What's the name of this dog? It's like Scruffy? I think that's his name. Hey, Scruffy. Stump. That... Stump Scruffy. Come on, sue me. What you gonna do? Huh? Can't even talk to you. You don't even speak human language. You're a worthless dog. Look at my dog. This is Barbus. He says wolf. And he talks. One of Clavicus's little Jess. Listen to that. Sebastian Lord oh, no, no, here's Fainel. <laughs> Sees me talking to my dog. How are ya? You want to talk to me after everything you've done? Yeah. I love the fact that he sent me a letter after I killed Sven and threw him off a cliff. Now then, things are calming down. Mistfire, bless me. Can't a guy get a bit of privacy? Oh, and there's Barbus again. Okay. I don't know if it's Barbus seeing me, though. That's the thing. What if I stand behind Barbus? Alright. I'm gonna move all of the... I, I, I am actually gonna need these ingots. That's why it's not just petty theft. I think I'm legitimately gonna need these. Alright. I'm gonna take them over here. One, two, three, four, five. Nice. Oh. Are you 
seeing me, Barbus? Oh. I'm not here, Barbus. All right. Because over here is apparently... Oh, it's not good anymore. Okay. Yeah, it's not Barb. It's not Barb is seeing me. Okay. Good to know. So, I do want to forge some things, but I'm going to need a couple more iron ingots. I might as well get the whole load before we start constructing what we need to construct. Hello. Good day to use. Oh, and he sells eight corundum ingots. Do you know what I went through to create my corundum ingots? I was really scared he wasn't going to have them. I could have just, you know, re visited his shop, I guess, but all right. Give me those. I am going to buy those corundum ingots, though. I just sold my ingots. Oh, and to buy them back. I'm going to have to buy them back at 10 times the price. All right, that's what we do a little misfire. I messed up. Now then. What do we got for sale? <laughs> all right. Fewer, but that's okay. So, let's go here. Buy all the Corona ingots, Corona more iron ingots. That's pretty nice. Take a lock, pick off, yeah. Got anything else in shop which interests me? Okay. Now, with this, how many iron ingots do I have in total? 27. All right, we might need some more, but let's... Right. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna need a couple more. You know what we can do? We can we can go to freaking Lucan. Dude, Riverwood Trader. Always open for business. There we go. He is always standing so far away, though. Like, I can... Oh, thank you. Sooner you... All right. Oh, a bit of this and a bit of that. Do you got a bit of this? Come on, no more. I'll buy. Iron ore. Yeah, some straw, some glass, some goat horns. We're gonna buy those two just so we have them at the ready. A couple of extra leather strips. Dude, it's gonna be good business for you today, huh? Uh, lock picks too. And that is... We actually don't need to buy lock picks. I just... I've Lately, I've, I've been missing some lock picks, but we have like 200, so... Doesn't really matter, though. Uh, oh! Hey, Camilla. Alrighty, we have some stuff. Let's see what we can forge. Let's go to the blacksmith forge. Let's go to the stuff page. So, I've done the calculations beforehand. We're gonna need 18 hinges. So, that means we need to press this button nine times since it makes two. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I know how to count to nine. This is great. Iron fittings, we're gonna need ten of them. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Smithing increase. Locks. This is the big one. We're gonna need ten locks. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Starting to run out of ingots now, and we're gonna need some nails as well. We're actually gonna need 52 nails. And right here, we only have enough for 30. One, two, three. Okay. Do I have some nails already in my inventory brought with me? I think I had a couple. Because right now we have nails st sitting at... Oh, I didn't actually. Alright. I'm gonna need, like, three more ingots. Ugh. That sucks. All right, well, quickest way is to just uh, wait around for old Alvor here to restock his stuff. All right, Alvor. What the finest you better have some iron ingots. I'd be surprised if you didn't, though. There we go. Ton of them. I'll take them all, Alvor. Mm -hmm. I'm feeling generous by paying what you ask. I guess that is generosity these days. All right, then just give me plenty of nails here. Okay, let's double check that we have everything we need. First and foremost, do we have hinges? We have 18 hinges. We have 10 iron fittings. Do we have 10 locks as well? We do. Do we have 50 plus nails? We do. Do we have four leather strips? <laughs> we got 50. Do we have some straw? Oh, yeah, we do. 
Then we're just gonna need quarried stone, which we can get at home. We're gonna need some clay, which we can get at home. And some sawn logs, which I think we have 50 of them, which I think is just enough for what we want to do. Yeah, Barvis, it's, it's a big to-do list. But it's just about to be done. We've done it. We got all the materials. Now all that remains, we sadly can't take a carriage back, is to jump on Frost and ride back home. And I'm considering just doing a fun little jump cut here. So three, two, one. Ah, it's been a while since I've done a good snap transition. Uh, but we're back home. Uh, we got a bit of combat music going. There we go, that's fading. Whew. That's why you run away from your problems. Now, we're gonna need a little bit of clay, which uh, I'm actually gonna mine myself. Yeah. Long life to you, Thane. Indeed. I'm gonna go over here so I don't hit you. Haba! Haba! We're gonna need about nine clay, so a couple of stacks of four should do. Very good. Does it only add it when it says, or does it keep adding? Yeah. That's the thing about mining. It sometimes adds it to your inventory without alerting you if it happens very quickly. So, we got the clay. Now we're just gonna need some uh, quarried stone, and I think we already have some, don't we? This is the chest part. Quarried stone. We have 17. We're gonna need approximately 50. So, we're gonna go over here. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> We're just gonna like a like a freaking madman. There we go. And we're carrying too much. Barbus, look away. I'm working. Nice form though. All right. How are we looking on the quarried stone? Forty-five. A couple more dings. Fifty-seven. Okay. With all of that done, and a dagger back, because I'm so heavy, because I'm carrying the weight of the world on my shoulders. Mistfire. I wanted to do... Mistfire, bless us. And let's build a home. We have three wings that we want to build. Let's go to the drafting table. Let's start with the kitchen. Now, the reason I want to build a kitchen is that I've heard that it has some respawning salmon row, which is really good. Uh, salmon, even. And it also has a deck that overlooks um, the, the lake itself. Like, it's very nice and scenic. So that's why we're going with it. Uh, let's... We could also build an apiary while we're here. Let, let's build the rest of the things first. Let's build the doors to the kitchen, foundation, the floor, the wall supports, the roof framing, the walls, and the roof. And with that... We're starting to get ourselves a kitchen. Very nice. What do I need? Well, I need to build something more. Let's go with the storage room. It's just a given that we want a storage room in, in this type of challenge. And I believe it also comes with a deck. So, a door, foundation, floor, wall supports, roof, walls. Nice. That should build that on the other sides. And let's just finish this up before we go inspecting our home. Let's do bedrooms, enchanter's tower, or greenhouse. We're gonna go with the bedrooms. And let's use the workbench once more. Doors, foundation, floor, wall supports, roof, walls. And we can build an apiary as well. And I believe that's the architect achievement. We've built three wings on our home, even if we haven't fully furnished them yet. An architect? We are indeed. Okay, let's check out the home. Yes! Now we're talking. This is what it's all about. Oh, look at this. Oh, look at the view. Oh, it's spectacular. Oh, it really makes all the wolf, bandit, troll, bear, and giant attacks worth it. We can even look down here. Look down on the rituals at night. It's gonna be amazing. Uh, I said that the kitchen has a deck. I don't know why I said that. I guess I mean that the... Because this, this is the bedroom. No, this isn't the bedroom. This is... It's it's a place. We'll figure this out. It's a big house. We're learning as we go. Oh no. Who are you? Llewellyn the Nightingale? Allow me to introduce myself. I am the Bard Llewellyn. Known as the Nightingale. Okay. Your steward has arranged for me to take service with you. I'd like you to play a different instrument. Certainly. 
I am trained in the three traditional bardic instruments, lute, drum, and flute. Which would you prefer? I'm in a drum kind of mood. Sit back and enjoy some classical drumming. Oh yeah, easiest on the ears, you see. Oh, okay. I'm waiting. There we go. Look at all of this. Okay, so... We are currently standing in a room of our house. If we go to the carpenter's workbench over here, we can see that we can start outfitting uh, different areas here. So this would then... This is the... Key, is this the kitchen? Okay, so in here, this is storage room. Many different ways of storing things. And we can, we can start building, but I kind of want to save my materials for the main part. Here, this is the bedroom. If I go to the bedroom, we can build child's bed, child's bed. I'm out of logs? Oh no, this cannot be. Duff, Raya, <laughs> I require your assistance. Luckily logs is something I can just get Raya to get for me, so it's not really a biggie. <sighs> just cutting it a little close. What do you need? Hey, my apiary is over there. I need you to buy some logs. What are we running buy me lumber. To it at once. Is there anything else you need? That should probably be good for now. Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. Let's go back, because I believe to adopt you need two beds, two chests. We got beds. Now we're just... Oh, hey, Barbus, you know how to open doors. That's worrying. Child chest. Oh, no. Why could I only make one? What am I missing? I miscalculated the hinge requirements. I miscalculated the hinge requirement. Why would I think it was 18 when there's 10 fittings? It, sh it should have been 20. Oh, it's awful. We're missing the chest. The symmetry is off. Oh, uh, well. <sighs> I'll go to Riverwood. I'll take a carriage there. I will make hinges quite unhinged, and then I will be back. We do have a workbench, but we don't actually have like a forge. So, where do you want to go? Take me back, baby, Alvor, my man. Hey, here I am again. Yeah, it's me. There we go. I'll make some extra hinges while I'm here. Haha. <laughs> You never know. Well, it was great seeing you again, Alvor. The joys of no fast travel. But the carriage helps a lot. I'm really glad I have it. Uh, I'm gonna ride on back home again. Home. Sweet home. Back at Lakeview Manor. Has our stuff grown? I think it has, actually. Alright, alright, alright. Let's go picking. Yep. Yeah. Oh. Why? Why Why do they have to be like this? Oh. Uh. <laughs> You're testing me. Are you trying to tell me something, game? That my obsession is going too far with these leak? Alright, you can stare into a wall for a while. Because I finally got the hinges to make that bloody chest. Oh, it's gotten so cozy. <laughs> He sees me coming, he's like, oh, that was a uh, bum, 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 bum. I wasn't taking a break. Good. You play for me, boy. Uh, Bar... Bar... No. Barbus is just in shock. He can't believe we actually managed to do the objective. Child's chest. With that, voila. You know what? Can I build something else for them? I feel like they deserve something more in here. Uh... Well, a double bed would actually be kind of nice, just so that more the people than them can sleep in here. Uh, I do have a mounted bear head that's really gonna... Wash basin, because kids are dirty. Uh, display case and shelf, that sounds fun. A little some tables here. Uh, table with benches. 
you know, we can just kind of have fun with stuff. Some some shelves, a bench, a chair in the corner, a low table, maybe some wall shelves. Another wash basin, two kids, twice as dirty. There we go. How's this place looking? Hey, look at that. It's starting to look like a home. So cozy. I'm digging it. And there's their lunch. The blue dartwing. A classic. Is that a pearl? Ooh. Pearl is really nice. I think I want to collect pearl. I want to eat pearl. Yum, 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 yum. Then I definitely want to collect pearl. I also found out that I have a human heart in my inventory and I haven't eaten it yet, so... I mean, we were just in a necromancer fort, so when in Rome... Mm. Not pleasant. <laughs> but Barbus, you look ridiculous. <laughs> I love the fact that he still boofs. Come on, Barbus. Yes! Oh, man. This has been one heck of an episode, everybody. I want to thank you all so much for sticking around to watch. I, I was a little worried since this has essentially been an episode where I need to, like, prepare a lot of things. And it's just a lot of tedious, busy work. But I, I feel like we've had some fun moments here. It's been really good. Let's end this by going upstairs. Maybe Barbus can revert to his proper self. And let's end it, as I promised, foreshadowing. Oh, the sunset. You can't plan for this, okay? The sun is going down. We are standing on the deck of our house. There's, of course, still things to furnish. But the main part of it is done. Man, that... Barbus is broken. That's okay. You know what just makes this all so much better? There's no Mercurio. Well, guys and girls, as the sun sets behind the mountains, so too does the sun set... Uh, what was that noise? Okay. So too does the sun set on this episode. I hope you've enjoyed it. Happy Skyrim Day, everybody! Stay safe, take care of yourself, and now I've started my intro, outro and the whole part, who's here? Somebody was here, that's fine. Have a still good day, take care, and stay awesome. There it is. But most importantly, everybody, stay dark. Goodbye.